That's right, Aaron, and I'm actually in the East Campus housing area, a place where many students say they feel unsafe, especially when the sun goes down. They point to the poor lighting and the distance from campus, adding to their fears that they've been experiencing after the school sent out reports of multiple rapes on campus. When we got the email, then we got another email, then another one, it was like, wow, like, Okay, it's key, it's like recurring. It keeps happening over and over. So it's like something to worry about. When these students started school in August, they were warned about sexual assault on campus during orientation, but were shocked when the university identified one of their classmates as an accused rapist. So we never like go anywhere at nighttime anymore, or we're always together. Action News is not showing his face or name because he has not been charged with any crimes. The university launched a Title IX investigation, but is not providing updates on the status of the case. We don't want you to think that because we're not standing here telling you everything that's going on, that nothing is occurring. There is quite a bit of work going on in the background. After receiving many concerns, the school held a town hall to answer questions about how they handle reports of sexual assault. Every time something like this happens, it's the same email. And within that email, they don't really attack like the issue at hand. It's more just like safety tips on how not to get raped, which is a big problem in our society. Many students said they were glad the man was identified. I was actually surprised that they actually put a picture with the person. I think yeah, that was the yeah, first time same. I saw that. So I think that's a good change, like putting a face to the person. While others wish more action was taken. As a university, like we pay to go to school here. Mm -hmm. We should not have to like fear where we live. The chief of university police said they can't force sexual assault survivors to press charges and must respect their wishes. What helps me to get to sleep at night is the thought that if the only option that people had was to go to the police, a lot of these incidents might not get reported and we might not be able to support our students. And students are receiving these personal alarms that make a loud noise in order to help them escape an attack. They're also encouraged to sign up for the self-defense classes provided by the university, walking in pairs, being aware of their surroundings. But many students I spoke to today say they would also like to see the other part of the equation addressed. Erin. All right. Thank you, Bianca. This also comes on the heels of a hashtag going viral over the weekend. Hashtag Me Too. Encourage survivors of sexual assault and rape to share their experiences, resulting in thousands of people responding online.